Welcome to Music Class Recitals. Today we're learning Bad Blood by Taylor Swift. It's really pretty easy. First part you need to know is just um, an E minor chord. It's the intro and the verse and it sounds like this. Yeah, you pretty much just suspend that E minor chord. Couldn't be easier. You'll notice in my uh, cover, I do some stuff to dress it up, but basically it's just that E minor chord. So in your left hand you need E's, octave E's, if you can reach both of them or just drop one out if you can. Um, you need in your right hand an E, a G, and a B. Cause, Cause baby now we got bad blood. You know we used to be mad love. And then there's the part where Kendrick Lamar is rapping. And that's all over an E, E minor chord, okay? So you've got that intro verse, and then you've got this pre-chorus. Oh, it's, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, it's so sad to think about the good time. Sort of like that, excuse the, the terrible singing. Um, but that, that part is the pre chorus, and it's just really pretty simple. It's a C chord. It's so sad to. So that's C's in your left hand, C, E, and G in your right. It's so sad to. Sad to, you switch to a G. I've got a G, D, and G in my left hand. You can always drop out a G if you can't reach all that. A B, a D, and a G in my right hand. To think about. Think about is a D. D's in your left hand. A, D, and F sharp in your right hand. Think about the good times. Back to that E minor. I'm playing an inversion, so you've got E's in your left hand. B, E, and G in your right hand. You go back to that C. So the second. The second half of the pre-chorus is like, just like the first half, except you don't have that E minor at the end. So you've got, here's the first half of the pre-chorus. C, G, D, E minor. And the second half, C, G, D, and you just hold that D. Okay? Cause baby, now we got bad blood. And you notice that after that pre-chorus, we go into the, the chorus. Cause baby, now we got... So you pretty much have learned the intro and the verse, just that E minor chord. You've learned the pre-chorus, it's just a C to a G to a D to an E minor. And you almost repeat C, G, D. Now the chorus, now the cool part about the chorus is it's basically what you just played combined with a little, tiny little catch. Cause baby now we got bad blood. It's that E minor again. And I add this this two here to make it a little more mysterious. But it's just that E minor. E's in your left hand. E, G, and B. Cause baby now we got bad blood. You know we used to be mad love. Now take a look what you've done. All that is just over an E minor chord. Cause baby now we got bad blood. Now we got, now, now we got problems. And I'm not saying it, saying it exactly right, but you guys know the song better than I do, I imagine. At least singing-wise. So you've got this, after that E minor, you go into this, this sort of the second part of the chorus, which is a C, G, D, E minor. Now this is just like the pre-chorus, the first half. The only difference is, in the chorus, when you get to that part, you play that section straight through twice. You don't end on the D. C, G. <laughs> that was terrible, hey. Anyway, back into the intro and the verse, you got this E minor thing going on. And um, and you can dress it up by sort of playing more of the notes that are in that E minor scale. Um, yep, then you go into the bridge. After the chorus, the bridge is very similar to the chorus. It's extremely similar to the chorus and the pre-chorus. It's sort of like a, uh, well, you'll see, it's very similar. It's just a C, band-aids don't fix, to a G, just like in the other parts. Bullet holes, to a D, just like in the other parts. You say sorry, just for show, to that E minor, just like in the other parts. C, G, D, E minor. And you repeat that four chord loop three times. You say sorry just for show. 
Now this last time through, you are only gonna play the first three chords, the C, the G, and the D. You're not gonna play the E minor at the end. When you live like that, That was so terrible. But you know what I mean. Basically that part, you hang on that D. And that's the bridge. Cause maybe now we got bad blood. You see, you go back into the chorus, and as you recall, it's got that E minor. And when it goes for the last chorus, that you're basically moving into the end part here. The last part, you're basically playing the chorus block four times. Once you start in with that C, G, You repeat that, right? You loop that. And what I just played there, you play that four times. You play that chorus block four times. So it's kind of like playing that four chord pattern there, that C, G, D, E minor, eight times, if you, if you think about it like that, because it's two for each chorus. All right, so to play, just play the chorus block four times. That's really it. I know that I probably could have explained that better. I was sort of stumbling over my words today, but hopefully that makes sense to you. I really hope that this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.